Welcome, Adores. Here at the Dinosaur Museum, we're constantly working on multiple projects. We're organizing exhibitions, workshops, school visits, as well as guided tours. Our visitors also often contact us about our various projects using emails or our website. Tell me about it, Susanna. Recently, I've been drowning in messages about a new exhibition. And honestly, sometimes I'm kind of scared I'm going to miss an email or two. No problem. We can go ahead and I'll show you different ways that we can set up your projects so that your tasks are created automatically, whether it's from an email or our website. Let's go ahead. All right, so let's go into our database. We'll go right into the project module. And here we have our project for the Jurassic walking tours, which are linked to our newest exhibition. And to set up the email alias, we'll go into settings. And then we have the settings of our project. We have the settings tab again. And we have an option to create tasks by sending an email to. And here we just need to fill in um, the, the beginning of the email that's followed by our generic domain. So we will call it um, walking, since it's for our walking tours. I will save this and boom. From now on, whenever an email is sent to this address, it will automatically create a task. All right, let me give it a try. Here, I'm sending an email to this address. Done. Oh, that was quick. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like inside of our project. So here, uh, we see immediately on our Kanban view that we have a new task, uh, the walking tour request that was just automatically created from the email that Guillaume sent. Now, how amazing would it be if uh, whenever we pick up the task and start working uh, on it and move it to the next stage, it could automatically notify the client who sent the email just to let them know that we have well received their task and we're working on it. Now, it is something that is possible. So uh, it's something that we can configure on the Kanban stage level. So just here, if we click on edit, we have a possibility to select an SMS as well as an email template. Uh, for this video, we'll just go ahead with the email. Uh, we have some pre-configured templates. We will take the request acknowledgement. We'll set it up. I will save and close. And now uh, let's say that we started working on uh, the incoming request that we received from Guillaume. We pick it up, we drag and drop it into the review stage. And let me show you what it looks like from uh, the task level. We can see that an email was automatically sent to uh, the requester saying we have received your request and we're working on it. So that's just something to make the whole process a little bit easier on you. Um, and that is it for configuring tasks from an email alias. However, there's one more thing that we will take a look at in this video, uh, which is configuring uh, task creation from our website. So let's go ahead into our uh, Dinosaur Museum website which is here. And we have the contact us form right here on our website. And we can set it up so it creates tasks in our projects as well. So um, since we have started the Jurassic Walking Tours project, we've been receiving so many inquiries about it that it's actually just much easier to set up the contact form. So every contact uh, activity that is sent to us creates a task in the Jurassic uh, Walks uh, project. So we'll go ahead and click on edit here. And if we edit our form, here we have uh, a menu that allows us to uh, specify the details. And so by default, this is set to send an email uh, to the um, database administrator, but we'll set it to create a task. Here we have an option to choose our uh, project from the list. So I will choose the Jurassic Walking Tours with some other fields, but for now we'll just save it as it is. And we see that the menu has changed a little bit. So we have the task title and the description. I will say we need a walking tour for, excuse me, for let's say 1,000 people. Let's just go big. Uh, OK. I will submit this contact form. And that's done. Let's just take a quick look into our project or here into the Jurassic walking tours. And again, we see that we have received another new task, the walking tour for 1000 people. And again, if I just drag and drop it into the review stage, the person who sent the email uh, will be notified immediately since we configured the email template. 
So that is it for today's video. I hope it will make it easier for you to manage your tasks and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.